Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 40 of Skyrim. When we left off, uh, I did a few things off camera, enchanted the sword and whatnot, but when we left off, we had just reached to our house again to drop off some stuff and, you know, get some stuff done. But what I will be doing is by, uh, you know, the grace of my memory, I'm going to be giving it back to Tlimic because I have not done that yet. And I really should. I really should right now. The two-handed skill dictates the effectiveness of greatswords, battle axes, and warhammers. Well, duh. That's a majestic looking deer, though. Oh, hey! Flimmick's right there. Look at that. Ah, uh, good to see you again. How'd that delivery go? I delivered them to High Hrothgar. Quite a climb, wasn't it? A little bit. Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Cool beans. Oh! Thanks again for the light. Thousand gold. Thank you for the gold. That was amazing haul. Look at that. Uh oh. That, that just doesn't... That doesn't mesh with me. Uh, I know th the parents are aging, and they're getting old, and they're not going to be able to do as much, but... I'm having the same thing with my parents. And... They're trying, they're doing their best, and... They're just basically sapping them of their energy to do anything. And that's not right either. It's... It's just crap. It's a load of crap. Anyway. Uh, got that out of the way. Is there any other quests that I should be doing? I could do diplomatic immunity. Sure. Uh, gotta head back to Riverwood. Tradition has it that the Nords came to Tamriel from the continent of Atmora in ancient days. Unknown pocket guide to the Empire. Pocket guide to the Empire. <sighs> I'm sleepy. I need to enunciate more. <laughs> Any inventory item marked with a small error indicates that it's probably more effective than what you currently have equipped. Yeah, about that. Sometimes it'll tell you that and it's a straight up lie. Alright. <laughs> I don't like your attitude. Someone that has seen far you and Feindall both like the same girl. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. You, your attitude is shit. I want to, I want to stab you right now. That's how shit your attitude is. Yes, two people spending time together never blossoms on a courtship. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. I don't give a fuck. Uh, still, you have a point. Camilla letting Feindal visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Uh -huh. Say it's from Feindal. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. <laughs> this is your plan? All right, then. Really? Wow. You. Oh, I'm. I'm gonna fuck you over, dude. I'm gonna fuck you over. I'm gonna tell her the truth. I'm gonna tell her the truth. What you just did. You fucked up. Now you fucked up. You have fucked up now. Now you have fucked up. Camilla. It's a fine day with you around. Oh, I bet it is. <laughs> Speaking of which, Sven wanted to trick you into believing this letter was from Feindal. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Why don't you read it? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Uh-huh. Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Will do. Until next time. <laughs> Fuck you, Sven. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, man. Where is he at? Where's Fen? That's Fen. Fendal. There you are. Uh, he should be working over at the end. The uh, mill. There he is. You. Hey, you, buddy. Come on, talk There's to me. Beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. You are not wrong. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Fair enough. All right. Now, <clears throat> because I feel I have to say it. He also had the same plan, but he was more timid about it because he didn't like being that sort of guy, but he knew Sven would be that sort of guy. So, and I just don't like Sven. He's a piece of shit. I know a, I know a couple guys like that. That guy doesn't deserve anything like that. So, pff, fuck him. <laughs> fuck him <laughs> with a cactus. <laughs> oh, Sven, I want to talk to you. I want to see how mad you are at me. Because <laughs> it is glorious. <laughs> hey, Sven. You're nothing but trouble. Hey, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Oh, hey. I forgot you came in here. I was just busy gloating over Sven being fucked over. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go in here. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Did you now? You're not coming? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. Okay, fair enough. What's your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellen Wynn, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. Uh-huh. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing Vaguely. that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wen's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? First off, who's this contact of yours? You sure I can trust him? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. Okay. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Ah. Luckily, they don't know who he really is. Or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Clever. Now, how am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. Okay. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Yeah, I can do that. Maybe. <laughs> I'm pretty good at acting, but I'm not sure I'm that good. Uh, what I, once I'm inside the embassy, what then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Alright. I'll see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. Alright. At this point I could be using my uh, carriage rider at my homestead for that. But I want to see what ingredients I have first. Um, I think I used most of them in the last episode, now that I think about it. Yeah, I think I did. Cut out of that. Kings, on the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to see how many poisons I have. I have plenty. 14 points of poison damage. I might carry those with me into the Thalmor Embassy. That will be useful. And, yeah. Turns out, I did say something a couple episodes ago. Turns out, I'm a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> uh, there are a few enchantments that scale with the level you get them at when you disenchant them. But it's only two of the enchantments. 
They are the same as absorb health, absorb stamina, and absorb magicka. That is the only spells that scale with the level you get them at. Well, the same enchantments. Everything else, fair game. I'm a dumbass. I apologize for giving you wrong information. Anyway. Continuing on. Uh, what I think I will do is just walk the way to my house. Give myself a little adventure. Why not? Whoa, Embry. You're in my way, dude. Uh, I think my house would be this way. Yeah, it is this way. Because it's south from the Whiterun Hold area. Do a little adventure. Why not? Oh, there we go. Now it's at the right spot for over the shoulder. I like it at a particular spot. And the tail kind of helps trying to judge that. But it's about halfway through the tail. Because then you can see the tail just shake around when you're running. It's funny. <laughs> I don't know why it amuses me so, but it amuses me. Uh, oh. Okay, let's deal with these wolves, shall we? Whoops. I cannot aim. And that one went flying. <laughs> that one exploded. <laughs> Woo! Okay enough of that okay get all that stuff we'll have that out for now because it's a good ranged attack and if I can aim it it's great if I can't I'm fucked <laughs> well we'll find out how fucked I am here we pass the guardian stones this is like a little backwards adventure in time a little bit Run, run, running. Instead of being stuck in you no know, crappy Imperial armor, I'm in Orcish armor now as I pass by these stones. Whoa! That was weird frame rate issues. Okay. And I do apologize if it breaks the immersion when I complain about that, but it it's, you know, I'd rather them think it's on my end than have it be their computer and, you know, I know I've had a couple issues on my end for videos when I thought it was the videos. Well, when I thought it was mine and not the videos. That's what I meant to say. So, you know, I'd much rather you know it's on my end than on yours. Anyway, we'll head up. Today is just full of game capture crashes. I apologize. This is not what I want right now. <sighs> I am your sword and your shield. Thank you, Lydia, for being my sword and shield. Um, yeah, I think I'm good there. Alright. Let's uh, talk to my carriage driver. That was my end again. <sighs> uh, we're going to head to... Solitude. Climbing back and we'll be off. Will do. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim. I'm sure you already knew. Yeah, we are I already knew that. And I, I find it depressing that, you know, they can get not even halfway through that sort of story, and then it just cuts off to darkness. It's a little annoying. Skyrim, also known as the Old Kingdom or the Fatherland, was the first region of Tamriel settled by humans. And there we go. And it unlocks nothing because we're too far away from the stables. Catless farm. And then we have to head up to Solitude. This way. Whee! Oh, this is a kitty with a great sword. Hey, Majad. The elsewhere is far away from here. That it is. May your old name be sad. Hopefully it does, my brother. Blessings of the moons upon you, traveler. You as well, sister. Khajiit are not welcome in the cities. 
so we make our camps outside the walls. That is horrible to hear, my sister. And I'm sorry, I I just love to do that. It's fun. Hmm? Madran, Welcome hey, there you are. Friend. How may I serve you? Brother, let's talk to you about business, huh? Uh, does not have anything. Oh my lord. This is before he actually sets up shop. Crap. <laughs> okay, well then. Sell you what we can. A leather braces, that'd be nice. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Uh, I will. In fact, I will wait here until you have more of your stuff to do business with. <laughs> Hopefully you're still here by the time the wait is over. <laughs> there we go. That should bring everyone here. I welcome you, friend. Oh, no. Uh, crap. No, not everyone's here, so of course it's going to take forever. Jeez Louise. I want to do this because I haven't talked with the Khajiit Caravan in forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there's this one here. Where's the fourth one? There's usually a fourth one with the Khajiit. Jeet caravans. Uh. Are you are you actually open now? Take a look. Yay! Okay, cool. Um, dwarven boots of strength. I have that enchantment. Um, of the blaze. <laughs> blaze it up! All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person, but it's funny to make that joke. Um. Okay, let's, uh... Uh, the healing potion's really all we needed. Um, let's see what else you got. Ebony ingot. You always use those, thank you. A couple lesser soul gems that are empty. Those would be good to fill up. Um, what else? Empty one. A couple empty ones of these. And... Let's sell you some of our stuff. Uh, sell that, that, all those, that, that, that. I don't know why those two decided to bunch up. I mean, it makes no sense, but anyway, there's that and that. Uh, Conjurer's Draught, I could use that. This is the part which takes forever, where I have to go through all my potions and decide which ones I'm going to be using and which ones I'm not. Uh, that one's actually stronger, but I have more of these, so we'll keep these until I have more of those. Um, I think... I have a whole bunch of different potions here. Which one's the weaker one? Uh, this one is only resist poison. Uh, sell one of those. Yeah, a true shot. I don't need that, ever. Um, this is just going to be selling stuff to the Khajiit episode. That's what this is. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna call that good. They made out a little bit on that, but okay. Anyway, we'll head up to Solitude now. And we'll talk to uh, this guard here, so we know you know, the state of affairs in Solitude. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not... Just keep your nose clean while you're here, or you'll end up like Rogvir. Rogvir? Who's Rogvir? We're gonna find out, aren't we? I have a feeling we will. Alchemy labs can be used to combine ingredients into useful potions and deadly poisons. We gonna make this spin. Make it spin faster! Woo! <laughs> there we go. Whoa! That axe appeared out of nowhere. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Take that. Sorry, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Oh, geez. Public executions. You should tell her that you betrayed us. That betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Adlar. You're all hard. Yeah, I'd say. Rogvir, That's so rude. Ulfric Whoa! The city after he murdered High King Tori. 
My game just froze a little bit. Huh. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> this doesn't happen often. Especially with music still playing. Um, I guess we'll just call this good for now. It's a fan-fucking-tastic day. And this is the perfect end to that. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see them daily. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And, you know, share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about how bad these games lishes can get. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.